Hi guys, it's Sheila G here for Distro TV Desi and I'm here at the Grosvenor House Hotel in London about to celebrate the Asian Achievers Awards. We have Nitin Ganatara and Nisha Palmer hosting the night and we have a number of celebrities attending including Tasmin Lucia Khan and so many more. It's going to be a sizzling night and I can't wait. Thank you for being here. of an international technology company called Savortex. He has recently set up a production company with the aim of promoting social enterprise. And what are you expecting from tonight compared to last year? Last year was brilliant. Wow, now you're really setting me up for a big fall. Um, no, I don't know. I just hope it's fun, you know. We did sell Asian Voice um, or deliver it. Is it free? I can't remember. Is it free? <laughs> <laughs> it may have been found out here, because I, but I know I definitely... Um, so it's really nice to have, it's a, it's a funny thing to be sort of come around and get this award. Great, how are you? Good, yeah, very well, very well. You look lovely this evening. Everyone Thank you. Does. Thank yeah. you, so do you. Very excited to be here. What are you expecting from tonight's well, awards? Very excited to be here, obviously. There's a lot of talented people that are up for awards. Very, very honoured and grateful to have been invited tonight. We're living busier lives than ever before. People are more stressed and more anxious. One mindfulness tip is to breathe correctly Breathe in slowly for five seconds, hold for two, and then gradually breathe out for seven. I prefer my looks to be a little bit more natural, to suit the person, to emphasize their features. Do you think mine's natural today? <laughs> well, actually, it's not that natural compared to a lot of looks that I do, <laughs> yeah. but it suits you. Monty, playing for England, most people would dream of it. Obviously, for you, it became a reality, but what was your journey like to get to play for England? Yeah, and there's so many songs in between. <laughs> You know, jumping from buildings, coming yeah, up behind trees. Yeah, jumping from 100, 100 foot buildings. We love landed. it really though. We <laughs> love it really though, don't we? Hold that beat for me, just. TV, it's your boy, Chin in the back, she G. Let's take it back to the start and how your journey began. Tell us about how you started off as a DJ. You also have a really lovely write-up with every video. You know, um, you go to some Instagram profiles and it's just a video going, hey, check out my workout. But I love the <laughs> fact that yours is so selfless. It's about other people. So here's what I'm doing. But then you have a, a write-up on the benefits of each type of exercise that you do. Where yeah. does that come from, all that knowledge? What is Tommy's brown load? It's exactly what it says on the tin. A brown load of fun, nonsense, irreverent chat, and a few songs thrown in. The world is thriving with DJs and female DJs are also making their mark out there from the likes of UK's Radio 1 DJ Annie Mack to the Eastern lasses like DJ Pearl who's regarded as a pioneer of house music in India. It's the year where Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper performed the Oscar winning song Shallow at the Academy Awards in February. If you guys didn't watch the movie, this song was from A Star Is Born and it was absolutely amazing. Now in 2020, the British Asian music scene is thriving more than ever before, with the likes of Zayn Malik and Naughty Boy right there at the top, having comfortably cruised into the mainstream. It really is thanks to the pioneers of Indian cuisine that curries have developed and moved from the takeaway curry houses to the world of the elite, fine dining and perfect presentations on a plate, of course. So overall, the comedy scene right here in Britain is on fire right now. We've been to one of the top venues right here in the heart of London. And as you've heard, there's so much diversity more than ever before. We all need humor in our lives, right? And with such variation, we have so much choice. So make sure you check out the top venues in London and keep enjoying all the humor out there.